Hey, what guys? It's Shady here, and welcome to a um GFX tutorial. Today's episode will be on how to extrude in Cinema 40. So, first thing you want to do is head over to your layers once you are on your exquisite um body, and go ahead and go to body exquisite, and then um open it, uncheck it, whatever you want to do, uh whatever you want to call it. You just like it's locked, unlocked. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and head into head. And you're going to have both of these, they're both going to be locked, and you want to, well, no, you actually can't extrude the head for some reason. It, it, like, I mean, you can, but then it doesn't work, so it's a little messed up. And, like, the hat, it's it's strange. So, you're going to go ahead and want to click on mesh hat and uncheck these. So, you're, I'm going to go ahead and move it over here, out of the way, just so I can have a little area to extrude it. So you want to go to your live selection tool and your polygon tool. <laughs> and click on that, sorry. Um, click on that. So you're going to have this and then you can like um, select it, all that. So just click out of it. So the way um, to save, like if you see I click this and then I click over here, it goes away. You're going to want to, whenever you extrude, you want to hold down the shift and then like just hold it down and then you can move it like that. So we're going to go ahead and click out of that. Now, the first thing you want to do to make your extruding go faster, uh, so you can like set, like extrude a whole row, is U L Shift, and then you will have it like that. You got to do it pretty fast. Click U L Shift, click U L Shift, click U L Shift, click, and then like it's gonna usually pop up like that. You just want to go ahead and move your mouse until it goes like that. Click. Or however you need it. So, yeah. So, the only thing that looks pretty good so far? Yes, it does. And then to select the back, you want to just hold down shift and just, like, click. Um, and drag over it, your mouse over it. Just to make everything that is black orange. And you're going to have these, but don't extrude that with the back. So, now that you got that, you're going to probably going to be wondering what do I do with that so over on the side over here you want to press adjustments then on your keyboard press D whoops then if it doesn't like pop up press D again then it'll pop up the only thing you want to worry about when it comes to extruding is the offset so it's at one centimeter right now I'm going to set it to two so it pops out pretty nice so it's like popped out uh, so that looks pretty good. Now you're gonna extrude this, the outer ring, whatever you you want to call it. Just go ahead and U L Shift, and then one second messed up. U L Shift, <coughs> D, and then set this to um yeah three. So don't you think that looks pretty good? Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Now you, we want to extrude the hair. So you want to hold down the shift, and then go ahead and like drag on most of the hair, except a little bit over here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then now you you accidentally say you accidentally selected this or something you want to press Control and click on the space that you want to delete. So like Control is like um how to delete extrude extruding stuff, and then press D. So now I will have the offset. All you need to worry about is the offset. And then backspace plus press 1, enter. So now you got that little offset from the hair. Um, and then yeah, just go ahead and select the hair again. Um, like if you want to extrude it more, like you can set it to 2 if you want. But I don't usually like that. Now, and you always want to like leave a bit off. Say like I extruded all this last time. Now I'm just extruding this. So press D, then 1, enter. Um, but yeah, it's really how much you want to do it. Like some people they don't like to extrude a lot, um, but I love to. So it looks pretty good to me. So now press D, um, 1, enter. Oh, oh okay, it, it auto-corrected to 100. Now, if you ever accidentally set it um, to that, just do Control Z. Um, Control Z and technically anything is go backwards, redo, and we accidentally selected this too. 
So go ahead and press control, click on that. Now press D and set this to one. Enter. There you go. So that looks pretty good so far. It's coming off. It's coming up. Um, now extrude this. And just like extrude that. Um, press D. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to two. Two. So I like that. And then now we're gonna start coming off of here. So now we're going to extrude that D. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this to two, just because I think that looks good. Then select these three. That Thor actually. D and set this to two. Okay, to me that looks pretty good so far. So now that we're done extruding with the hair, um, you're gonna go ahead and go back to the live selection tool and go back to your normal selector like this, whatever that is, cube, model, press it. Now you're going to want to go ahead and drag this back to your head. So go ahead and drag this back to your head so it looks good. So to me, that looks very, very good. So yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And I'm going to go ahead and turn eyebrows off. So you want to click on exquisite. If you want the eyebrows on, you can leave them, but I like to turn them off. So you want to scroll down until you find this little section, face customization, and do teeth, teeth off. To me, it looks much better. And eyebrows off. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. Now we're going to extrude the body, arms, and legs. I don't usually do the body, so I'm just going to do the arms and the legs. So go ahead and... um. So now that you have like your exquisite body minimized, go ahead and open it back up. I just wanted to show you guys that you can minimize and open it. And go to mesh, click the check, and go to mesh arm, right, and then go ahead and open that and wait I don't know. Um mesh arm um right and then go to your polygon tool again and now it'll look like this. So we're gonna go ahead and extrude the now I have like two bands, so we're gonna go ahead and extrude the black first. So we're going to do UL shift, bam, and then just go ahead and do that the whole way down until you get to here. Go ahead and skip that and do it there, bam, and bam. Now press D and set this, let's see, will it look good with two or one? Two, I'm going to do two just because I like over extruding. I don't know, I love over extruding. Just looks nicer to me. U L shift and then do it for that other band. D and set that to three. Or you can do one for the arm and two for the band. But I like it over extruding. To me it looks good. And then just go ahead and copy that for the other arm. Sorry if I'm kind of like confusing. I don't know. I'm not good with tutorials, but you guys wanted a tutorial. So, yeah, I'll be doing it. And then now press D and then set this to 2. So, if you can hear my keyboard, it was my birthday not too long ago, um, <clears throat> like three or four days ago, and I got a new keyboard and mouse plus a bow and arrow. Because if you don't know, I'm actually, I actually do archery in real life. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty good at it. So, yeah, I, have, I won the tournament. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, yeah. Back into the topic. So, that looks pretty good to me. Now we're going to want to do the shoes. So go to the leg, and then it's going to auto-select these. Just click out to get rid of it. So here's what I do. I'm, I select these two little bits, then I do UL shift into that UL shift. And then you have two little white spaces that you don't want to extrude with it because it doesn't look good. So just control, hold it down, and select those two. Press D, and change this to 2. So it's pretty extruded nice. Then select these two by holding shift and just dragging over them. Then UL shift for this bottom one. Press D and then three. Three. So that looks pretty good. And then just do that for the other leg. So it's pretty, pretty simple. But it's really fun. UL shift. Bam. Con um, UL shift. And then control. Drag over those two. D, set this to 2. And if you ever mess up, just do Control Z because Control Z is like the mess up key. If you ever mess up, just that's like the redo. Little shift, D, and set this to 3. So we're now done extruding. Yeah, we're done. 
but I feel like I'm gonna be nice and actually show you guys how to do a jacket. So the jacket rig, however, you, like if you want a jacket, then here's how to do a jacket. So the jacket will be in the link in the description too. It's um Flash's jacket rig. Open, then open the jacket. Jacket rig. So when you get it, it's it's gonna be pretty ugly. Because I mean, look at that. It just doesn't look good. And then you're going to want to select your skin. Um, mine's pretty far down. Uh, skin down here. So skin. And then you're gonna want to set it to um no disabled. You want to turn editing mode on under the object and settings. Well, no settings. So you you want to you want to click editing mode enable. So it's like that. Now you're gonna want to extrude the um jacket rig. So you want to go to um once you open your jacket rig, you want to click on jacket mesh, and it's gonna auto select this side and yeah just that side. So just click off. So it's empty. So what you want to do, what you want to do is just select everything that is not um your jacket. So, the first thing I do is, like, go down this middle row and click off of that. And then, like, while you're shooting, you always hold it down, shift. And to, like, move around the screen like this, you want to hold down alt and then just click and move, like, your mouse like that. And hold down click. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and select everything that is not your jacket. Um, I have a scarf, so it's in the way, but it actually looks pretty cool. Once you are done selecting everything. So, and when I mean everything, like even the shoes on the bottom and stuff like that. So, let's you go ahead and get it all selected. Um, but yeah, the jacket, it looks very, very good on your mesh character, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks very nice. So, let's go ahead and select all of this. Okay, I messed up right there. Control Z. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have actually done that. I probably just could have controlled and clicked off of it. But yeah, if you ever mess up, just Control Z. Or, um, and since you're extruding, you probably don't want to do Control Z. So do Control and just click where you don't want it. So yeah. So we're gonna now that you're done extruding everything, or you think you're done extruding everything. Like I missed a bit right there. Now press delete so we deleted it but we still have a few things that we accidentally did not click so like that so like when you mess up like this if you still have some a few items left now just press delete so now that they're deleted it looks pretty nice so go ahead and get out of extruding mode and then you can minimize that editing mode dis so once you're done extruding you want to go back to your jacket mesh and then editing mode it disabled. So now it looks really good when you put it on your character. So try to get it lined up as evenly. But say you click on your body and you bend it, your jacket does not go with you. So the way to fix that is you open up your body and you go to mesh and mesh and you find body and then you drag um your jacket rig into mesh body bam so that's you have that done when you bend this it bends with it but yeah so that looks pretty good when you say so too so yeah that looks pretty good to me if i'm going too fast and you can like slow it down uh pause when you need to other stuff like that but yeah so i hope you guys did enjoy this video Hope you will all smack that like button, and yeah, I'll come out with a Photoshop tutorial pretty soon. But yeah, hope you having, hope you guys have enjoyed. See you later, and papa, papa, peace out.